name is Jonathan. Um, just about 31. And I've been homeless. How long have I been homeless? Uh, just about, uh, yeah, like, probably like six years or so. Oh, well, I guess I was originally from Ontario. And, um, it was, like, I was where, like, I had a career going for myself, but it ended up not working out. Particularly, I find, uh, with homelessness, you get, like, discrimination comes more for, like, your appearance. Obviously, because people are, don't, people don't know you, so they're going to judge you based upon what you look like, right? So, uh, I think if you're down, if you're down on yourself, if you're in a rut, if you're using drugs, you're, you're going to look, you're going to look like it, right? Mm -hmm. And I think that's where the misconception comes. Like, not everyone, not everyone in a shelter system is doing drugs or, uh, so have it like bad hygiene. I don't know how you want to say that, but uh, some people like look after themselves. They're just using it for either as a transition period. Either they just uh, kind of like maybe they've lost their job. They're well, hopefully a musician one of these. They're a real musician, but. I'm Glenn Thompson, School Climate and Relational Approach Consultant for CCRCE. Too often, people say words and they don't consider the hurtful impact they have on others. We need to change this and raise awareness that words matter. Here's what you have to do. Go find our other five posters related to Stand Up Speak Out, scan the QR code, and hear five important stories. Join us on September 13th to deepen this conversation. Remember, everyone has a story and words matter.